With 4 million sounds, what will you create? Take the free trial today. Hello and welcome to another um, Superbooth Home Edition. We're coming direct from what looks like an empty games warehouse with you, Matthew, uh, ALM Busy Circuits. You look, it looks like a sort of post-apocalyptic, although I suppose we could say we're in the midst of some kind of apocalypse, but good to see you've got the gaming console behind you. That's my Aero City, which is a bit knackered, but it plays games good. Excellent. So uh, we're looking at some ALM busy circuit stuff. I mean, we're just going to talk through it here. You've got lots of demos available online. People can find that stuff to hear it properly and all of those things. So, yeah. So yeah. yeah, tell us what we're looking at then. Well, we are. Well, what uh, we are announcing, or would have been announcing at Superbooth in person, is uh, our first um, complete system. It's eighty-four HP. Um, and it comes with the case and the power supply and everything. And then it's all uh, in custom gray panels with the magenta and blue knobs. Uh, it has um, some of our uh, kind of uh, most popular modules like PAM and uh, the Squid and then some staples too, like the MCO and the Tangle Quartet. And then it's also got some unique modules which are unique to um, the coupe, which are the Milton, uh, a, a basic malt. The Milton is just like a utility module, uh, a fixed mixer, an attenuator, a buffered malt, and a um, kind of line to euro level converter. And then the MCF, which is a multi mode analog filter. Um, and then we've got quite a sort of interesting range of modules in terms of we've got a MIDI interface here, we've got Pamela. Um, which you can use as a clock and then also it's kind of uh, modulation capabilities to be kind of like a sequencer modulator all sorts of things we got the quaid mega slope which uh, can function as an envelope or a kind of advanced lfo or a um, step sequencer with per step um, glide uh, we've got a little basic malt we got the squid sample uh, which is a eight channel audio and CV sampler uh, with four outputs. Uh, you can use this as kind of like a, just a basic kind of eight channel banging out drum sounds, or you can use it, you can patch it up and use it as all sorts of, as a kind of like really sort of advanced sound mangler as a kind of crazy delay and all sorts. It also ships with, um, I think uh, about 80 sound banks, uh, which oh, wow. are really, really, really good. Yeah, uh, they're the same sound banks that you get with the off-the-shelf one. The difference with this is obviously it's grey with the pink knobs and whatnot. Then we've got the Milton, which I already covered. That was designed specifically for the coupe, um, just to add a kind of like bit of missing functionality. functionality. Then we've got the MCO, which is our wavetable oscillator with uh, analog sub and also... Um, as kind of special Alpha Juno style uh, pulse waves modulation. Then we've got the MCF, uh, which is a multi-mode analog filter, um, high notch and low outputs, and also uh, resonance, obviously, and voltage control over the frequency and the resonance. Then we've got the Tangle Quartet, which is a four input, super clean um, VCA, which you can use as a mixer as well. And finally, the HPO, uh, which is a headphone output. It seems to me like it's designed for, it's, it's like a, 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 a techno machine because you've got beats, you've got clocks, and you've got a single voice. So bass line and, a, and with the samples, you know, is that the sort of uh, where, we're, where we're heading with this? Uh, yeah, yeah, to a degree. But I would say that it's probably more, um, I guess because of it's definitely it's definitely more kind of beat focused, I'd say, right. rather than a kind of like sound mangling tool. I wouldn't. I'd say it's different to kind of like your classic kind of, you know, uh, eight hundred eight, nine hundred nine drums, and your kind of like three hundred three like oscillator. In that this, um, it can get a lot more weirder in terms of using the sampler and the the, the things you can do with that, and then also kind of layering the more kind of analogy. Yeah, with the MCO and the MCF. So, uh, um, Pat, the the workout, Pamela's workout. That's that's the is that is, 
that sort of legendary it's one of the first and most sort of used clock divider beat driving type modules is it is it the workout two or the new workout or is it oh, a, yeah, the new workout. It, yeah with the pam there was the original pam which basically just put out triggers and then that's been uh superseded like this has been chipping for about three years now the new pam and that basically uh the big kind of improvement over the original pam is that it will send out clock telephones you know various clocked wave shapes and whatnot um and we've just released a new firmware update for it which hopefully it's a beta at the moment but i think it'll be a proper release by the time people see this where it adds a quantizer to every output so every oh, output can wow. be so it you know like pam can do sort of you know almost endless things you know uh, you can use it as like a basic 4-4 four, four trigger or you can sequence kind of whole sets of it, you know, melodies and patterns and everything. And how many how many channels of uh, of output does Pam have? So I'm not familiar with the module, but... Oh, so Pam has eight outputs. Right. Oh, okay. So, uh, and this is, this, like you say, this is a f your, your kind of first complete system, the case and everything. It's all matched up, power supplies and everything. You've got your own power in there, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our own power and our own case. So um, I guess the next question is, you know, how, how much and when? I mean, when is always a bit difficult in a situation like this because obviously, you know, well, everything's up in the air. But Yeah, behind me, they're, they're all just waiting to be boxed up and shipped out. So we're hoping that by the time people see this, they'll, uh, stores will have them in stock. Like they're, they're, it's, it's been our sort of mission to get them out by Superbooth. Uh, and I think we've just, well, hopefully they've not gone out yet, but we're still just, we're just waiting on some, uh, we're just sh a little bit short on the uh, panel screws. Um, and as oh, soon wow. as they arrive, they're ready, <laughs> they're ready to go out. And, you know, the, the, the stores are waiting. So hopefully they'll be in stock. Uh, and what's, uh, have you got a kind of price fixed for this? I mean, what's the complete system cost? Yeah, I think the pricing will be around 1899. Okay. That's right. UK with the VAT, obviously. Yeah. And I guess. A, a little bit more in dollars, I guess. Yeah, well, the dollars got a bit stronger against the pound, so I mean, it's it's difficult to know yeah, which yeah, way yeah. that works yeah. every time. And, and are the individual modules available separately, or are you uh, are certain things exclusive to the this system? Well, all the modules are available separately, apart from the Malt, the Milton, and the MCF, the multi-mode filter. The MCF will probably come out at some point in the future. The big difference is none of them are, are available in this uh, color scheme individually, and the case isn't available uh, individually. But we might we're sort of thinking about doing the cases separately. Right. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, before we go, actually, you've got another module to show, right? Have you some, some yeah. a special announcement, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have. I we've got a uh, a, a new version of our. Uh, Bospo time module, the Bospo 2, an upgraded version. Uh, this is a switch uh, where you route, where you can route signals, uh, CV or audio through an input and a number of outputs or a number of inputs through to uh, an output. Um, the original uh, Bospo tie worked in a, a, it was an address switch. So depending on the voltage level going in, it was it controlled the mapping, right. which confused a lot of people because uh, people are generally used to kind of steps, uh, sequential switches yeah. where you step through. Uh, so this new version basically adds that and a strobe mode. So it will do the um, original uh, addressed mode with the voltage going in, controlling uh, the routing, but then it also has a strobe mode and a step mode. The step mode steps through the outputs uh, with the direction dependent on the voltage coming in. And there's also a reset for that. And then the strobe mode is kind of like a mix between the two where the, the voltage coming in contr controls the, the mapping, but it's only updated when it gets a clock in. Ah, oh, okay. Because uh, I've seen some really interesting techniques with that where you can use it to switch really fast between multiple waveforms to get yeah, almost yeah, hybrid yeah. waveforms. Maybe you could just hold it right up to the camera so we can have a good look at that. So, yeah, what's that? Ah, uh, okay. 
And what, um, that's going to be coming soon. And what's the all the updates coming soon? How much is that going to yeah, be? Yeah, I've actually just arrived. They've actually just come from the factory today, but I've noticed there's like a minor problem with them all. So now I don't know. <laughs> ah, tricky. So basically, yeah. So uh, not a big, not a, not an unfixable problem, but just. Uh, and normally, I think that it, it would be fixed quite quickly. But with with you know with Corona, everything's completely unpredictable. So I'm hoping they won't be too long. I'd hope to have them out uh this week as well but there might be a little bit though there will be a bit of a, a little bit of a delay now and what's uh what's the price on that one to tell you i haven't yet worked it out i know okay. i think it'll be about i don't it will be between 150 and 200 probably closer to 150 retail i would have thought okay yeah i need to i haven't actually no fair uh, enough i've been so busy with the coupe that uh understandable yeah. well uh thanks very much um, um do stay Thank safe you. and like i say i hope we see you in person uh, at the next uh allowed event <laughs> <laughs> thank you thanks for having me